Okay, so nothing phone users, we have a great news. Nothing has started rolling out, nothing OS 4.0, open beta for devices like nothing phone 3, nothing phone 2, nothing phone 2A, and even nothing phone 2A plus. And in this video, we'll find out what all changes you'll see on nothing OS 4.0, which is based on Android 16. So here I have my nothing phone 3. This device I've already updated, but here towards the left hand side, we have nothing phone 2, which I haven't updated. First of all, let me show you the software information by going to about section. So here you can see nothing OS 4.0 and it's based on Android 16. If I scroll down, you can see here Android version is Android 16 and security patch is of 1st September 2025. Tapping on Android version, you also get to see the Android 16 Easter egg. So this was the update which we received towards the top side. You can see nothing OS 4.0. They have mentioned about all the new features along with some general improvement and bug fixes. And the update size, if you take a look at, which was 2.65G. And now let me tell you how you guys can install nothing OS 4.0. 0.0 on supported device as i mentioned supported devices are nothing phone 3 nothing phone 2 nothing phone 2a and nothing phone 2a plus first what you need to do is you need to download an application which can be found in the description below the application size is somewhere around 24.19 mb you just need to install it you'll see a pop-up of update just update the application once it gets installed, then just go to the settings, system and here you'll see an option called Nothing Beta Hub. Tapping here, you need to allow the necessary permissions, allow only while using the app, tapping on join beta and guys you might see such errors like join fail, keep trying, within 4-5 to five tries, you will obviously able to join it. Same thing happened here on my Nothing Phone 3, I wasn't able to join initially but you can see after 2-3 tries, it says you are now eligible for exclusive early access. You can go to the update section and get the latest build. Tapping on OK, you can tap here, go to the update and now check for the updates. There we go. Here we have the Nothing OS 4.0 update, which is the open beta update. And guys, before installing, make sure you take a backup of your device. Though the data did not get wiped, here you can see I have my Nothing Phone 3. I was using this device as my primary phone and the data did not get wiped. But still, it's always safe to have a backup of your device before installing the latest build. I mean, where you see Android version is getting upgraded. So I'll tap here, download and install. Meanwhile, this will get installed so let's talk about all the features and the changes what they have done but before that guys if you find a content useful to you guys then make sure to smash the like button and also consider subscribing to our channel though the installation will take a lot of time guys on my device it took approximate 25 to 30 minutes to download and install because even the update size was quite huge on this device nothing phone 2 the update size is 3.19 gb but on this device which is nothing phone 3 here the update size was about 2 gb so first of all let me tell you you won't see any kind of changes soon your device boots up when nothing os 3.0 was released we did notice a new setup screen which gave us few information about nothing os 3.0 but here that's not the case when you install nothing os 4.0 once the installation is complete you'll see android beta pro Program. and after that you'll see two options soon you boot up your device one is notification cooldown is now on I'm not sure whether notification cooldown feature was already there but as far as I remember Google did introduce this feature with Android 16 so I think this has been recently added I've recently started using nothing phone 3 so I'm not sure about this feature but this app optimization feature have been added on nothing OS 4.0 so soon you update your device make sure you optimize all the apps so here you need to go to app section scroll down and you can see an option called app optimization so here you'll see all the applications which requires optimization i do have screenshots so let me show you those screenshots this is how it will look if there are applications which require optimization and i do recommend to optimize all the applications soon you install it and you'll also see a nice progress bar while the app optimization is happening and another thing guys let me tell you the animation feels a lot improved after this latest update they are pretty smooth now so first let's talk about the lock screen customization so going to customization going to the lock screen section now here you will see two new clock styles previously we only had six clock styles but now nothing have added two more clock styles if you see these dots there are eight dots now so let me show you those two clock styles one of them is this and the second one is this but still nothing haven't given any kind of options to customize the lock screen like the ability to change color and other stuff other than that you have almost everything same on the lock screen tapping on wallpapers you have similar stuff the nothing wallpapers color palette nothing have been redesigned over here i'll also do a detailed comparison between nothing os 3.5 with that of nothing os 4.0 so video will be dropping very soon talking about the control center so here also i did not find any kind of major changes here towards the left hand side you can see this is the control center of nothing os 3.5 previously in the control center if we want to resize the quick setting tile there was this icon present but that icon have been removed now 
to resize you need to tap on that particular tile and then the resize icon will appear and also if you see a change closely here these arrow will now indicate you whether you can resize the tile or enlarge the tile so for example currently we can only resize so these arrows pointer is facing each other tapping on it now you will see the change in direction of arrows and also now most of the quick setting tiles do support 2 into 2 size which wasn't possible before so a thoughtful implementation what they have done and another change if you notice if you are resizing the tile you'll see an outline around that particular tile. Also the reset option have been moved towards the left hand side instead of right hand side. And the same effect what we have seen here in the quick setting tiles that can also be seen here if you tap on widgets. So as I showed you guys tapping on DND quick setting tiles, we have a pop-up. Similar way, if you tap on DND quick setting tile also, the same pop-up can also be seen here. And instead of this red circle, now we have a red line with a gray circle and the positioning have been moved towards the left hand side previously it was towards the right hand side after that they have got some android 16 changes so for example if i tap on dnd on the previous build the dnd gets activated or you can say deactivated but now if you tap here on dnd you will see a pop-up which will give you three options by default which is bedtime and driving tapping on settings you can create your own mode tapping on create you can choose the icon and according to your requirement you can create any dnd mode so this is another option what they have added here in the control center and another change what you'll see whenever you tap on any of the tile you'll see the text towards the bottom side this wasn't the case previously so here if i tap on auto rotate you can say it says auto rotate off and again if i tap it says auto rotate on tapping on bluetooth tile you can see it's completely redesigned now previously the search bar used to have a huge line but now you have a small circle towards the left hand side which indicates searching and now the bluetooth on and off option have a proper differentiation compared to previous one Previously we had this plain stuff but now there's quite good segregation. So these are the changes what you'll notice in the control center. There's nothing new in the recent page. Recent page also remains exactly same. Camera application also I did not notice any kind of UI changes. About the camera performance I'll keep you guys posted. Pop-up view now supports two floating icons for easier switching. So soon you open the app in pop-up view, you will get to see this introduction which says things like resize with bottom corners, swipe up to minimize and dual app view. Let me show you how does it work. So here if I have any one application which is in pop-up view, still I can open up the second application. So again, select that application, tap on pop-up view and you'll see that previously opened application shows you an icon towards the right hand side and you can easily switch between these two applications just by tapping on that particular icon so now multitasking would be better on nothing os 4.0 after that they have also added a extra dark mode so here if you go to display scroll down tapping on dark mode and once you enable dark mode you will have an option to enable extra dark mode too tapping on it you'll see a pop-up which says experience deeper black and enhanced contrast for improved visibility in dark environments tapping on ok and now you get a proper pitch dark theme if you enable this option without that you see a slight gray background also guys about section have been completely revamped so if you go to about section here you can see this is how it used to appear previously but now on this latest build you get to see the full back of your device instead of half back and now you have a single tile for os version and the phone name Essential Space also got updated wherein they have added LLM usage dashboard which will automatically track AI large model for enhanced privacy transparency. If you go to the settings here you have an intelligent toolkit. Here they have done some UI changes. Now we have an AI usage option over here towards the top hand side which will show you the usage based on day and week. And they have also got something called playground where you can experience unique creations from community including essential app, glyph toys, camera presets and even equalizers. You can only currently use it on web browser. So this is the link. I'll provide the link in the description below. If you want you can sign up over here and towards the top side you can see there are a few things like essential alpha app so here you are not even required to do coding ai will do everything for you guys tapping on create application you just log in with your account so from here first you need to join the wish list for early access currently it's not open for everyone so i'll just join and leave it soon i get an access i'll do a dedicated video on this so here you can do a lot of things like you can create an application for the you know uh, home screen widgets you have options to create the glyph toys, camera presets. There are few camera presets which are already available that can also be imported. And you can also import the things like equalizer profiles and you can also create yours. As said, there are few options already available here. 
you can use them if you want to. So guys, these are the noticeable changes which I have discovered till now on Nothing OS 4.0. Other than that, there are some general improvements and bug fixes. If I discover anything new, I'll keep you guys posted in a different video. So guys, as of now, only this much in this video. If you guys have any kind of questions, let me know in the comment section below. This is your friend Ashok signing out. See you guys in the next video. I never answer, no man, I still go, go, go.